Hello everyone. I hope everyone is safe and doing well. This was recorded on the 15th, Monday, and La Palmer is not changing. The island is erupting constantly. Earthquakes, there has been, I believe, five magnitude 5.5 earthquakes in the past week and a half and it's going to continue this volcano I have never seen one like this and it's going to get worse as you can see here it's not stopping and I'm very concerned about it I really am I don't know why my program is not showing the earthquakes that are taking place and they don't want us to know basically so the USGS has stopped a number of earthquakes from the beginning thousands of them has taken place and they're going to continue but if you look at this image here some people sound say that it sounds like a roaring dragon and I'm concerned especially if you look at Revelation 8 what it talks about a fiery mountain falling to the sea this could be it ladies and gentlemen it could be and I don't understand why the government of Spain has not mandatory evacuation of that island and we have a couple of subscribers that live on that island, actually. And I'm concerned for them, their families and loved ones. A lot of houses have been lost. But before we start this video, I want to explain something. Earth Church's channel is going through a lot right now. And because of the restrictions against the channel, this channel has two strikes. And in the previous video last week, I talked about how I'm going to change to comply with their guidelines, community guidelines. But the channel is going to continue on. And it's a lot of work, and I'm fixing to explain before we get started with this video what's going on with my life as far as trying to help people as much as possible because time is running out to answer emails telephone calls text messages telegram I believe I may be stretching myself out a little too much and that's okay I will get used to it there's a lot going on and I'm trying to help as many people as possible. So if I'm not here, usually this channel puts up three videos a week plus a spiritual message. And it's going to continue as much as possible, but I'm trying to help out as many people as possible too. And a lot of other channels are doing it. And we're going to go through some channels that I highly recommend in case I'm not here. I can't be here three or four times a week right now. I'm hoping that will change very soon. Once I get the process of these other channels that I'm working on, which I will explain here in just a brief moment. If you go to the playlist, the spiritual messages to me is is very very important and i'm going to be in the process of re-recording these videos and putting them on another channel which i will explain here in just a moment but it is very very important to save these spiritual messages in case something happens to the channel and I do have a backup channel and I'm going to explain what that is and where you can find it and all of the links to the channels that I'm giving you 
will be in the description box below the video. So these spiritual messages are going to be converted to this channel. As you can see, no subscribers and no videos. So I'm working on that. I want to try to at least put three a week over there. And then I'm going to have new ones as well. And I may leave the spiritual messages on the playlist. Okay. And so people can go there and have a spiritual message that could help people get through the times that we're currently living in. And I tell you, all the years I've been researching, 18 years now, I have never seen it like this. And a lot of families are falling apart and a lot of family members are passing away. And basically this channel is to help people get through the times that we're going in. Now this particular channel, Deep Truth, Deep Impact, has no strikes and it covers what's taking place with our solar system basically and the trojans people ask me where's the trojans one came in a few weeks ago three or four came in early in the spring and they are coming i'm going to give you an update from what i received within the next two to three weeks it's going to change and you know, when you deal with reliable sources such as intelligence, when you receive that information, it can change overnight, within a week, within a month. And I try to give people a, a notice of these events a year in advance. So if it's not happening, it will. If you go to the playlist, you can find a number of videos and I'm going to show you a few of them here, especially this one here, to understand the Trojans. And I noticed in the last comments of the previous videos, people wanted to know about the Trojans, what's the Trojans. And these videos will go into detail about them and also keep up with certain rocks that are coming in that may or may not be related to the Trojans. The Trojans, I was told by a very reliable source that they are not going to be classified as Trojans. They're going to be classified as Apollos. This video here is very important if you want to see the new images of the planetary system. And also this one goes into detail that NASA says they can no longer defend planet Earth. This one's very important as well. So I recommend you go there so you can keep up with what's happening on the Trojans. And if something major comes in, it will be on Earth Changers channel and Deep Truth, Deep Impact. Now, I want to take you somewhere else. And this is very important to me. This is a new channel that's called The Real Precursor. And it only has one video up, the introduction to The Real Precursor series it will explain how to you how can you get into the vault that's what it is to watch the videos and it will explain that certain people i do not want to come over there and that's why it's a private channel that you can go to on patreon and patreon only and this is very important, and I'm not going to go into detail, okay? The video will go into somewhat of a detail to explain. And I can't say or use certain words here. But if you go to this video, I encourage you, ladies and gentlemen, please go to this channel and subscribe and hit the notification button so you can be aware because when I do put another video up on this particular channel, it will have a link that will guide you there. But also the introduction will have a link as well. And it's very simple and I'm not going to go into it. Watch the video.
it will explain and it's only 12 minutes long. This is important. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to have a personal announcement. And I don't do that very often. But I will at the end and I hope everyone that's made it this far before we start the earthquakes can catch it all the way to the end because it's important to me and it should be important to you. I'm not going to be here all the time, three or four times a week. Now, this is off-grid desert farming with Paul and his wonderful wife. And I talked to him the other night for about an hour and a half and he has a strike as well and he's keeping up with what's happening with the earthquakes and what's going on with La Palmer as you can see there and this is important because I can't be here not right now all the time Paul and Adrian are wonderful Christian couple that's trying to help people like I am and so many other channels and they have a backup channel now and that link will be in the description box as well and it's simply off-grid desert farming with Paul and his wonderful wife too okay so those links are going to be in the description box this is his backup channel and I encourage you to go there if you want to know what's going on with earthquakes and other world events also I'm going to take you to another channel and this is daily excellence with brother Anthony me and him has been working and corresponding back and forth together we have done about three videos I believe together to help people prepare for national disasters and including CMEs, earthquakes, and basically how to prepare in case something happens. But me and Anthony, we have been corresponding back and forth for about a year now, year and a half almost. And as you can see here, there's a number of videos and he he does a lot with Mike around the world from Paul. He puts up a lot of his audio information to help people. I support Mike around the world. But as you can see, there's quite a bit, uh, quite a bit, should I say, over 200 videos from what I understand. And Anthony, you can catch him on Telegram. I'm working over there as well. I have three platforms over there. And, you know, it's a lot of work, ladies and gentlemen. This video that you're about to watch dealing with the earthquakes took me approximately six to eight hours on the video recording, mapping Google Earth. And it's, it's a lot of work. Uh, here in this video, Anthony did one to talk about Deep Truth, Deep Impact and updates on earthquakes and spiritual messages, of course. But we're all trying our best to help everyone. And you know, you, you don't make money on this. And I want to thank Kenneth for another donation. God bless you, brother. You know, it, it's without these donations, we can't, we can't continue. It's just, it's, it's a lot, okay? A lot. So, on this update, I think I'm going to continue with once a week update. I know it's an hour long, and this one may run a little longer than an hour. And there's just simply no way I can cover what is taking place in 10 or 15 minutes. Now, there's other channels out there. If you want a quick update, subscribe to them. Uh, I believe Dutch is pulling back to one every two weeks. I subscribe to his channel as well. Uh, I don't have time to watch his videos, of course, because I have so much going on here on the sanctuary. 
I'm running two weeks behind now. It was four weeks and I'm getting caught up on what I have to do here to prepare. But these earthquakes, I have never seen it like this. You know, and it is a job, ladies and gentlemen, to keep up. Now, we're going to focus on the Sandwich region of the southern part of the Atlantic. Also, there's new earthquakes taking place with the Atlantic Ridge, and they're increasing. So we're going to be covering that in this video. Also, looking at, well earthquakes that are taking place would you believe in the UK and this region here in Iran has received a 6.6 .6. and we're going to be looking at that and also what is taking place in Malaysia Indonesia and an earthquake in Australia that is very unusual that took place yesterday and of course the Solomon Islands what's going on in New Zealand we're going to be looking at that and then areas of the South Sea of Indi India and this whole region is not stopping okay so we're going to cover as much as we can and keep this video down well I apologize because of the introductions to these other channels but I'm just trying to cover you in case I'm not here okay if a seven magnitude seven I will definitely be here for that okay and give you a 15 minute update on the location and how deep it is and what's going on we're going to be looking at this area of Mount Ramirez and other parts of the United States, including this area of Yellowstone. But, you know, now the earthquakes are getting into Colorado, the northern part of New Mexico. Oklahoma's increasing. And now they're going into Kansas. And I'm going to start mapping the new Madrid fault line area which there's a lot of small earthquakes taking place there and diverse places like in Virginia Pennsylvania South Carolina what's going on in Puerto Rico which is not stopping of course Central America we're going to cover that and more than likely on the next update i'm not going to do a introduction to the video as far as what we're going to cover i'm going to try to keep it short because they're increasing the indications are being more and more throughout the world and you know it, it's just a, a lot of work i spent over an hour and a half mapping out google earth and it's it's a lot of work ladies and gentlemen i kid you not so let's start this video and look at these locations it's really extraordinary what is taking place throughout the world so let's begin we're going to start out with the new madrid fault line and a lot of people don't understand this is the new madrid fault line right here The Madrid fault line is totally different. I'm going to show you all. It starts in the Atlantic, right along in here, and it comes it comes down through here, through Canada, south of the Great Lakes, and this is it right here. It splits actually. It covers this area. But the new Madrid is this one, as you can see. And I'm going to bring this in so you can see what I'm talking about. There was a magnitude 1.5 that was six kilometers in this area right here. 
Also a 2.2 on November the 16th today. And this area right here, the 2.2 was seven kilometers, about three and a half miles. And as I did the last update that I'm noticing that the earthquakes was going down into this region and going into Oklahoma. It's connecting here. And also, I made a statement that it's going to go into Colorado. As you can see, this is a 2.5 that took place on the 13th. And I covered that in the previous video. And they're going into Colorado. This was a 2.0 on the 11th. But this is what's catching my attention. This part of Kansas received a... 2.6 on November the 11th, a 2.6 on the 14th, and a 2.8 on the 11th. That was 10 kilometers, about six miles actually. The other region I want to cover is here in Texas. I have been tracking this area from the beginning and as you can see here there's a lot of indications that are taking place and i can't put up anything smaller than a a 3.5 i did get this one in this was a 2.2 and a 1.9 back in august but i'm concerned about this area and you know it deals with Coming into New Mexico, I covered this area here. This is a lava field. Also, I covered what was going on with Mount Taylor in this area right here. Now we're going back to the eastern side of the United States. This was recorded. It's a 1.5 November the 9th, and it was three kilometers here in this region of South Carolina and also the 2.2 November the 16th today which took place today but it was five kilometers and that's only about three miles that's very shallow that's why I'm very concerned about this area also we had a 2.0 back in August but Another one here, a 1.7 back in August as well. But what's catching my attention is what's going on in Virginia with this 2.1 that took place on November the 10th, as well as what's going on in Pennsylvania, a 2.1 on the 13th, and also an aftershock of a 1.5 on the 12th. And we have a lot of subscribers in the Pennsylvania as well as Virginia and a lot of people don't know but this area that's going into this area right here of the Smoky Mountain the Blue Ridge Parkway this is a ancient volcano area field and it goes right up in Pennsylvania so I'm keeping an eye on that and I'm marking it and as you can see there's no indications for the last seven days taking place in Canada. I have been tracking that as you can see here August at 2.0, August at 2.7 and then this part of Canada had a 3.6 in August the 27th. We're going to cover Yellowstone. This is approximately Yellowstone right here. And as you can see, multiple earthquakes, 1.9 or 2.1 that took place on the 10th. And a lot of them are small earthquakes, but basically it's an indication that, you know, Yellowstone is not stopping and it will continue. I'm going to zoom in 
and show you something that you may find very interesting and that's this area of the dead trees I covered this before and I want to show everyone what has taken place now you know Google Earth has not updated their map in years I don't know how many years but they are not updating it and as you can see the dead trees now what's causing this is the magna is pushing upward and it's eating up the earth's crust and they don't want you to know so they're not updating it as you can see there's a lot of dead trees in that area this area right here is just totally gone with all the dead trees but what's got my attention is this part of Utah it's not stopping okay and I covered that and I'm going to show you here on Google Earth what's going on in that region and it's this area right here as you can see this mountain range is what you're seeing right here and all of these indications are aftershocks they're very small but it's, it's an indication that something's going on right here and this is basically a fault line it's very small and as you can see as we head south into Utah this whole area right here is being affected and what is also taking place and I've been watching is what's going on in Idaho as you can see these indications as well and people ask me is Idaho going to be a safe place well this whole area is an ancient volcano area and this is what occurring right here as you can see with these smaller aftershocks in this area right here of Idaho as you can see the indications I use this as a reference as you can see right here this is it right here and this is the area that I'm concerned about there have been a number of small earthquakes around Mount Rimer and as you can see here November the 14th it was a 1.9 but also November the 10th at 1.1, 1.2 on the 11th of this region, right here in this area. And as I covered this before, and I, I'm going to make a statement again that Mount Rimer, Rimer, however you want to pronounce it, I call it Mount Rimer, is basically a a rotten tooth actually if you look at it up close you can see what I'm saying this whole area is getting indications now this is looking from the north and as you can see what has taken place in the past and I covered this last week that if this volcano erupts I'm gonna pull it back to the north This whole area right here is going to catch on fire with the forest fires and the debris that's coming from the volcano. And I'm very concerned about it. I've been watching it. And then I noticed here on the 10th that Mount St. Helens had a 1.1. And I'm going to start tracking these and, and keeping up with them because I, I believe it's very important. And as we're here, I want to cover this area of the hypothermal vents, which is this area right here. This is a 3.3 that took place on November the 10th at only five miles or 10 kilometers. And then of course, a 2.9 on the 13th about the same depth and this is a this area right here I'm going to bring this in for you 
This area right here has really started to increase. This was at 3.5 and I did an excellent video. This is the area right here on the hypothermal vents. It's on the channel, you can find it. And I suggest if you want to get educated about this whole area right here, to go and watch that video because it's extremely important. In this area of California, as you can see this, I have it highlighted, but this is the area that's taking place here. As you can see all the indications, and this is north. This is the, this is the area that I'm speaking about and right along in here and that's the indications of that area and i covered california nevada last week and they're not stopping now this program goes for seven days and i'm going to pull it back so you can see what i'm talking about in the last three days this is what has occurred and then if you go to seven this is what we have and also i talked about lake tahoe which is a number of hydrothermal vents in that area. This is Lake Tahoe right here. And they did receive a 2.1 on the 14th. Right there, just north of T Lake Tahoe. And also this lake right here is starting to d develop hydrothermal vents as well. And that's this area. They've had a 2.3 that occurred back on the 15th. And we have a lot of subscribers in California. And I, you know, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you straight out. If you live in California, look at this right here. These are the ones I've been tracking coming up into Baja. And now we're getting a 4.2 November the 15th yesterday, right here in this area. And this is it right here which is a 4.2, it's 10 kilometers on the 15th. And now we're starting to see how they're moving across the Baja Palencia into the Pacific Ocean. This is a 3.0 on the 14th. That's this one right here. And it was approximately 21 kilometers. And then as you can see here, another one, a 2.3 in November the 10th. But as you can see right here on the Salton Sea, what's taking place, okay? And this is the San Andreas fault line that runs up through here. It branches off and goes through Los Angeles. And then it goes all the way up to San Francisco. It breaks off right here. And it goes into and hits the, the southern part of the Cascade Seduction Zone, this area. And if I can advise anyone, I, I'm just going to be straight up with you, ladies and gentlemen. Please tell your family to, to get out of California as soon as possible. And when we hit 38.5 degrees, 39 degrees, California is going to be devastating. I, I, I'm just telling you straight up, and a lot of people is not going to do it. They're not going to leave, and they're going to be stuck there cost the you know the economy and to pay your bills and so forth because that's very important to them isn't it not their lives and I have put a lot of stress and emphasis on this whole area of Southern California and a lot of subscribers are telling their families and loved ones to get out but they don't want to listen just like you know April a wonderful subscriber God bless her she's been trying to help her adult children to get out but you know they're going to continue nothing's going to happen okay now we're going to move into the southern region of central america that is a 4.3 that took place on the 16th today this is a 4.4 that took place on the 13th of november and this is a 4.8 on the 16th today a 4.2 
that has taken place. And all of these dates, I have noticed, uh, you know, in the last three or four days, there's been a lot of, a lot of earthquakes, and it's all focusing around the November the 12th, 11th, 13th, 14th, 15th, and of course the 16th. And it was a 4.2 at 35 kilometers, a 4.4 on the 11th, a 4.2 on the 13th, and a 4.2 on the 13th. So you, you're getting the picture, right? And I have been tracking this region as well. August a 4.5. November the 16th today, a 4.3, a 4.8 back in August, and this is the equator. And then what I want to show you is what's taking place right here in this region. Yesterday, on the 15th, a 5.2, 4.6, and I'm going to bring it up here so you can see what I'm saying. It's right here in that region. I do apologize. This program does not allow you to see a bigger image of the, of the magnitude. So that's why I'm calling it out for you. And also what has taken place in August in this area, which I'm going to give it to you. It's a 4.4 back on the 10th. And that's in this area right here. Uh, the, oh, excuse me, that was the 15th yesterday. And then off the southern part of Chile and Argentina, we have had a 4.4 on the 15th as well. So these areas right here, as I made a statement before, I've been tracking them, and they usually the average is a 3.5, but now they're all going to fours. This is a 4 right here, 4.2 on the 11th, a 4 point, I'm going to bring this in for you a little bit so you can see what I'm saying, 4.3, that happened on the 10th, and this is another 4.3 that occurred, this one right here is a 3.9 on the 12th. You see what I'm saying? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're getting a lot of indications. This one right, right here is a 4.3 on the 15th yesterday. A 4.5 on the 12th. A 4.3 on the 13th. A 4.4 on the 15th. Another 4.4 on the 15th, a 4.6 on the 15th, a 4.6 on the 15th. So we're starting to see them change. And I made a statement, they're going from threes to fours, and more than likely within the next 30 to 60 days, we're gonna see more fives along this area. While we're here, we're gonna to go to the South Sandwich Ridge area which I have been tracking for months. I've been keeping up with it. And it's this region right here. I'm gonna bring this up north so you can see what I'm saying. But November the 14th, a 5.0 took place. And of course, a six, a five, a five, and a 5.4 took place in this region a few weeks ago. And then don't forget about the eight. So there was a magnitude eight. This is a six, also a 5.2. November the 12th, a 5.2. This is recently. I wanna kick this back around, I do apologize. I'm gonna to try to stop it the best I can. All in this region's right here. The magnitude eight took place and the aftershocks is 5.5, 5.5, 5.0 back in August. There was also a magnitude 7.5 in August in that region. And as I made a statement before on the last update, I'm looking for them to start going west and east in this area. Now we're going to cover 
the South Atlantic, which is this area here. This is the bottom of it, the southern part. But what I want to show you is this area. We're having more and more indications in this area right here. November the 12th at 5.8, 5.8, 4.9, just a few days ago. So this area is expanding and you know, the Atlantic plate, you have the African plate, which is here, and the, the western side of the Atlantic Teutonic plate area, September of 5.2. But what's catching my attention is this area right here. We're starting to see more and more indications as we move up. This all occurred in October 4.6. June of 4.8, this area of 5.4, 5.0 back in August, and then November the 10th, which is this area, I'm going to bring it up here so you can see what I'm saying, at 5.1. So we're starting to see more and more indications starting to go north, and then what really got my attention today was what took place I'm going to bring this up to the north where you can see what I'm talking about right here. Of course, this is Ireland, Scotland, a 3.1. 3.1 on the 16th today. Would you believe that? Okay. And then a 5.1. That took place on the 11th, right here, in Iceland, and in this whole, this whole island is volcano. It's all through here. I wished I had enough time to show you the current eruptions that are taking place. Also, a 4.6 just south. That took place on the 13th, right here in this region. Now we're going to move north and we're going to focus on what is taking place at the magnetic north. But look at these indications right here. So August at 4.5, 4.6. I'm not going to focus much on that because I done reported on it. And then I reported on the 5.1 that took place back in September that's very important as you can see with the current position of the magnetic north I'm going to bring it up I'm going to do these once a week now when we do the earthquake I'm going to just give everybody the current position and this is it for the 16th of November it moved 1.24 miles basically almost a quarter of a mile this area and then this is my estimate for November I'm thinking it's going to move an average of 2.5 miles but it deviates ladies and gentlemen this is the mark I'm concerned about 38.5 degrees and this is where I'm estimating we're going to end up by the end of the month so I was very close right here like i stated almost one and a quarter miles but this is where i'm thinking it has slowed down a little bit but what i want to show you while i'm here is all of these earthquakes which i did cover last week august a 4.5 august 4.6 4.8 october 4.7, 4.3 back in September, 5.1 back in September. So, you know, it's it's increasing in this area, and I'm very concerned about it. I'm not going to go into detail about this volcano. I know that I told everyone that it was approximately about 60, 
63 miles across in this area. As you can see here, 64 miles. So we're getting a lot of indications of earthquakes in that area. And it's not a coincidence that the 40 degree mark is right here. And I estimate we're going to be by, by April of 2023 at the 40 degree mark. And I'm wanting to do a video to explain crust displacement so people can understand how serious it is once we once we get there and um, I'm just going to give it to you straight up the best I can. I did this the last update and basically this is 1200 miles from here to here and the reason I state that is because from the 40 degree mark in this area right here gonna take you to where it's gonna go but from the 40 degree mark to right here is the reference lines where they think the 40 with the excuse me where the new North Pole is going to be and it's approximately 1200 miles as you can see here I got it marked out 1200 miles so I believe what's going to happen, I know this is taking a little bit of time, but people are asking me, you know, what's going to happen, and um, this is the equator right here, and this will be the new one, that's 1,200 miles, and the United States is going to end up in Canada, okay, and Canada is going to end up in this region. Now we're going to move to Iran, in which they had a 6.0 on the 14th that occurred. I'm going to bring this in a little bit. It was a 6.6, .6, but it was downgraded to a 6.3. And this is, this is a fault line that goes all the way up through here. So this area has received a large earthquake at 6.6 .6, downgraded to a 6.3 these are the aftershocks in that region and then right here November the 13th a 6 4.6 and then the 13th a 4.3 in these two areas and then November the 11th a 4.4 that would be this one right here also this is a 4.8 that occurred it was about seven kilometers very shallow earthquake and this is this area this fault line goes this is a tectonic plate ladies and gentlemen it's part of it and it goes all the way down through here and it goes into Greece and it goes all the way through the Red Sea as you can see here it just about makes a circle we're going to focus on what took place in Greece the area this is a 4.3 and it took place on the 12th and it's this area right here so now this is this is a major fault line that's going right up through here and it goes in all the way up through Italy but what's interesting is this fault line goes right through here to Mount Etna and Mount Etna is basically what's saving uh, La Palmer ladies and gentlemen because it's it's releasing pressure and this is it right here of course no one lives around there because it's extremely dangerous but this whole area here is Mount Etna, the volcano. As you can see what I'm talking about. There's two coverts or vents in that area. And that fault line goes right through there, right on the edge right here. 
Now, it seems like it's been holding off in this area of the Mediterranean with Spain. These are older ones back in August. And then I'm going to make a brief comment on what's taking place with La Palmer. I'm going to bring this up to the north. Now, the 5.5s that has taken place is basically right here in this whole area. Some of them, uh, at least one has been off right here in this area. And I believe there was five of them that was recorded and they're downplaying it. And as you can see here, these are the vents that I talked about on the last update. As you can see, there's four, five, six, seven, eight, excuse me for a moment, I'll see what I can do, nine, 10, 11, you get the picture, right? Okay. So when these vents start going off, which they, they haven't yet, okay, most of what's taking place is the main Corvera. And if this breaks off towards the north side, I'm gonna bring this out for you so you can see what I'm talking about. If the north side takes off, I'm going to bring this up dead north so you can see what I'm saying. That area will be wiped out as far as Portugal, Spain, coming into the UK. All of this will get us a, a tsunami. All, all of that area. And, you know, if it comes in, it's basically, these are low line areas. And I'm just gonna make a brief statement so I can keep this down to the end. This area right here, these are only like two, 300 feet above the sea. This whole area right here, it's going to be flooded. You know, the highest places is in Scotland, this area right here. But I'm very concerned, and what can the people do? I mean, really, you know, uh, that tsunami would go right up through here and compress, and Belgium, also the Netherlands, would be definitely affected. The example I can give you is this this area right here. That's only 280 feet. Okay. This area right here is only 150 feet. This area right here of Ireland is about 700 feet. But what's what gets me is this whole area, like the Netherlands, right here. You know, that's 700 feet, but if you drop down, that's 400 feet, and this area is very populated. Belgium, that's only 42, okay? 42 feet. And France is, this is the mountain range, but that's, that right there is only 300 feet. So, you know, what, what are the people going to do? They're, they're not going to leave. There's no way. They're not going to do it. We're going to move to Madagascar. This area right here, we're seeing more indications. That's this area right here. And they had a 5.3 that took place right here on October the 13th. But what gets me 
the 5.3 on November the 14th, also a 4.5 November the 11th, a 4.7 on November the 15th, and on the 11th of November a 6.0, right here. So all of this just occurred a few within the last few days and I told everyone that I'm very concerned about this area but also this area right here because this is a ancient volcano area and I look for this to start going off at 39 degrees actually so we're going to see what's going to take place in in that area I'm very concerned about it a four point no, excuse me, a 5.3 took place today. That's this one right here. And it was about 10 kilometers, and that just happened today. So this area right here, I believe we're gonna see more eruptions in this area. And also we're gonna see more in this area about right here that's going to deal with more and more earthquakes as we come through this area of the southern part of New Zealand. Now, what's strange is very rarely does Australia receive an earthquake. And they did receive a 5.3 in that area on November the 13th, and it was shallow. It was only 10 kilometers in that area. And then, of course, what's going on in New Zealand, they had a 4.1 on the 11th. Bring this around for you. That was right here on one of the main islands. And we have some wonderful su subscribers there. And, you know, it, it's sad. You know, if, when we go through the magnetic reversal, I, I don't want to put a lot of emphasis on that. You know, I try to tell people to go to high elevation. This area right here is is um, right at three 3,000 feet above sea level. And this whole region right here is 3,700, 42, 1,200 as it makes its way down, and that's 2,000. You know, if you do live in New Zealand, I recommend somewhere at least three to 4,000 feet above sea level. And this island right here does not give you a whole lot. That's only four, 500 feet. This main part right here is at 3,000 feet. Now we're gonna move north into this area. There was a 6.9 back on October the 9th and a 7.3. And every time I, I look at this area, these, these quakes are very, very deep, very deep. And anytime you see a 4.7, 4.5, 4.3, and they're very deep, you're gonna get a large one. This is a 7.2 that took place back in October. A 6.1, a 6.4 in October, a 5.0 in November the 10th. So this area right here, it's not stopping. This whole region is not stopping. And I have been watching this, but as you can see, this is a major tectonic plate for the Pacific side. And look at all of this. And I recorded some new ones today. This is a 5.9 on the 15th of November. And, you know, Japan had this one right here, 6.1 back in September. And then I covered this last week at 5.0 on the 11th, but I did 
report the 6.6 .6 on November the 8th. But as you can see, all these that I have been marking, I'm going to bring this up so you can see what I'm talking about. They have slowed down a little bit. This was a 4.3 that took place on the 16th today. And that's in this region right here. Excuse me. That's in this region right along in here. And then we're going to look at what's taking place in Alaska and then we're going to finish this video out but as you can see all the indications got it I can't I can't mark all of these and I'm only going to focus on the larger earthquake in these areas and I, as I reported last week what was taking place with a 6.9 back in October and you know it, it's just a lot of work ladies and gentlemen to track all of these and to mark them on the map and um, you know it's, it's just a lot of work I don't mind it but I'm doing a lot right now and of course the 6.2 that took place will kill away or off the coast of Hawaii and that's what these indications are right here so there's your update ladies and gentlemen for the week and I try to cover as much as I can and it seems that there's there's more and more that's taking place and you know to track all this it's a lot of work and this video took a lot to make and I'm doing the best I can thank you for your understanding it's not going to stop ladies and gentlemen it's not it's going to continue it will continue as we're getting closer and closer to 38.5 degrees and then in 2022 we're going to be at 39 degrees and we're going to see a big increase ladies and gentlemen i kid you not we're going to see a big increase through america hawaii alaska malaysia indonesia new zealand we're going to see a lot of activity increase in africa and of course the Mediterranean, Iceland and Greenland. So I, I'm very concerned and you should be too. I'd like to make a personal announcement. The last four to six weeks, I have not been feeling well. I believe it deals with keeping up with current events and what's taking place throughout the world the negative entities and I believe it's taken a toll on me I really do I've been feeling weak with fatigue I'm struggling with I can't sleep at night and it's it's affecting me to the point that I'm getting extremely exhausted I'm getting tired and I'm doing the best I can but I've noticed when I wake up in the morning around seven o'clock after waking up two or three times in the middle of the night I have a cup of coffee or two and then I have to lay back down for a couple of hours and I think what it is you know I don't start my day till 11 o'clock 
with the amount of work that I, I'm doing here on the sanctuary and then it's running behind two weeks now. It was four weeks and I'm starting to get ahead. And it's, uh, it's taking a lot out of me. I believe it deals with the magnetism that is hitting our planet with the billions and trillions of charged particles, CMEs. I've been talking with some friends of mine and they've been feeling it too, that they're getting exhausted and they can't sleep at night. And when you're a mature soul, as I am, I have a, so much compassion for the human civilization and I put, I put everyone else before me. And that's just the way I am. And then, during the real precursor series, I don't know how far that's going to go. Maybe 12 parts to that series. It may be more. It depends on how many people come over. And that's what I've been working on for the four, for four to five weeks as well. When I couldn't put up any videos. And I don't mind the emails. I have to catch up on important emails, text messages, phone calls for people to try to help as many people as I can throughout the world. And if you put yourself in my position, it, it's a lot. It is. And the next four to six months, it's all reality is going to change, ladies and gentlemen, all across this world. And I can't talk about it here. But it deals with current events. I believe you can read between the lines what I'm saying. And I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. I am. And I'm concerned for you and everyone else because we're all in this together. I'm asking for prayers. Spiritually, I'm, I'm being drained. Psychologically drained. Mentally, I mean. And then physically, I can't sleep at night thinking about everyone and everything that's happening. And I'm a pretty strong individual. It takes a lot for me to get weak. But I'm asking for prayers. And I never asked for prayers before. And a lot of the subscribers were losing their loved ones. And I think about that every day. And a lot of subscribers are not here anymore. And I used to have communication with them and they won't answer the phone calls or emails. And I believe they have passed on and moved to the other side. Into the afterlife. And I think about that. Because I was told that certain subscribers would pass away. And I, I know that's happened. And I know a lot of families are losing their loved ones. And it's going to increase, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, it's going to increase. And we're struggling with a spiritual battle. And we we happen to be right in the middle of it. And to tell you the truth, I, I don't like it. And I'm sure you don't like it either. But these prophecies have to be fulfilled so we can go home. And to me, that's what's important. This is a time to be strong. To put your full armor of the Heavenly Father on and be strong. This is not the time to lay down. It is not. And it's not the time to go on a spiritual diet. It's the time to find yourself and pray for yourself and your loved ones. Because this is a battle. And I got my sword. 
and I will not hesitate to give my life back to the Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm prepared. And I hope you're prepared too. You should be. Because it's fixing to change. And if you watch the, the real precursor, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm, cons I'm concerned for all of you. Please continue in prayer and be strong. Don't give up on your loved ones. I've lost my son and daughter. No longer talking with them over certain issues. And I'm sure a lot of you are going through the same thing. But don't give up. Soon it's time for us to go home. God bless everyone. And be safe always.